President Trump is blaming Democrats for separating immigrant children from their parents, saying, quote, put pressure on the Democrats to end the horrible law that separates children from their parents once they cross the border into the U.S. But to be clear, the president is referring to his own administration's policy. Stephen Wagner, a top official with the Department of Health and Human Services, disclosed the number to a Senate subcommittee last month saying this, I'm quoting now, between October and December 2017, Wagner told the subcommittee the Office of Refugee Resettlement reached out to 7,635 unaccompanied children to check on them, but the ORR was unable to determine with certainty the whereabouts of 1,475 children. Wagner testified that an additional 28 had run away. And now the story is back in the headlines because of the administration's support for policy that could lead to separation. There are a few things going on here. So first of all, you know, I think that probably some of our viewers are wondering why is Health and Human Services involved in this? What happens is when, an in, when a child, an immigrant child, comes to the border uh, alone, in some cases, or with a parent but is separated from that parent or adult for a few reasons, which we can get to in a minute, they are turned over to the custody of HHS because there are some laws that some of the laws the administration in the past has railed against, which perhaps may be part of what Trump was trying to say in that tweet. But the law says you cannot essentially jail children in immigrant detention indefinitely. So they are turned over to the custody of HHS, which then tries to find placement for them. And what they revealed in this testimony, uh, last month and again this month is that when they did that, when they turned these young children uh, over to someone else's custody, either someone who had a familial connection or that HHS determined uh, should be protecting them, they could not find 20 percent of those children on follow-up. And that could mean anything. That could mean they've moved into the shadows uh, of the undocumented community here in the U.S. That could mean they've ended up in the hands of traffickers. HHS has no way to know it.